Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pleasant Valley UMC. I know we want to shout to praise the Lord. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. And today, it's a beautiful day that the Lord has given us. Whatever we bring to here, even worry and negative thoughts, and also some argument with the children to make them wake up, whatever it is, and lift up to God. And receive, receive God's peace, God's strength. And now, let's purify and prepare our hearts. And Reuben come and lead the controversy. Good morning, church. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to our third Lent in the Lent season. Please stand with me if you are able so that we can do our call to worship. And then I ask also we remain standing for the opening hymn and then for the opening prayer. We stand in the need of the presence of God. The Lord has heard our cries and calls us forward to this journey. Lord, Come, let us worship God who is always with us. Let us open our hearts to the beauty of the Amen. And now we will sing from our hymnal, page 98, to God be the glory. It's 
actually an ostrich. An ostrich has an eyeball that's bigger than its brain. That's an interesting fact. All right. Which dinosaur name was made up by angry scientists? Was it an upsetosaurus, a frustrator, an irritator, or a mad ceratops? You think mad ceratops, you think that one's made up by angry scientists? No, it's actually an irritator. A mad ceratops is a dinosaur, and so is an upsetosaurus. Wait, and they're, they're actual dinosaurs? Well, their names are dinosaurs. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so they lived. <laughs> All right, so um, what color are the coolest stars in outer space? Remember last time we asked what were the warmest stars. So what color are the coolest stars in outer space? Is it white, red, yellow, or purple? Purple. Yellow. Red. All the colors. It's actually red. The coolest yeah. ones are red. Yeah, the coolest. All right. Now, which of these is not the name of a real animal? There's a sparkle muffin spider, a banana bird, a pink fairy armadillo, or a chicken turtle. Chicken turtle. You think the chicken turtle was not real? Actually, the banana bird was not real. There is a chicken turtle, there is a pink fairy armadillo, and there is a sparkle muffin spider, which I would like to see what that looks like. That, that sounds real. Oh, that does sound real. It does sound real. It does. Okay, and then my last question is, who are you? One, are you made in, I am made in God's image? Two, I am a sinner. Three, I am love. Or four, all of the above. What's that? Um, I am love. You think all of the above? Let's hear it again. I am made in God's image. I am a sinner. I am love. All of the above. One, all of the above. All of the above. That's right. I'm not saying one and two. Three. All of the above. We are made in God's image. And God made us so perfectly who we are. Each and every one of you were made in God's image, and he made you exactly who you are. He knows that we don't always do the right thing. He knows that sometimes our attitude is good or we don't act right. But he loves us no matter what. We are loved, and there is a Bible verse in the Bible. Oh my God, find it right here. I love this verse. It says, I give thanks to you that I was marvelously set apart. Your works are wonderful. I know that very well. So we can thank God that we are unique. Everybody here was made the way you are for a reason. And God loves you so much. Even if we don't always do the right thing, he loves us no matter what. And he has a plan and a purpose. So the things you like to do, the things you are good at, God made you that way on purpose so that you can use those things for him. Even this little guy right here. He is made in his image and he has a purpose. We might not know exactly what he's going to be good at yet. But he, he did. <laughs> yeah. But every single person from the smallest baby to the oldest person in this room is made for a purpose and um, God loves you and he wants you. So let's pray. Savior God, dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. No matter what. No matter what. Help me. Help me. To know. To know. That I am special. That I am special. Just the way you made me. Just the way you made me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. the special, special, the best candy. Do you know what it is? That's world. So, there is, you know, the two sides had really great world of God that you remember. So, please take this and remember and keep this one in your heart and make your image become that image more and more okay great great you want to change the color yes i know that <laughs> okay let's go great you can pick up which one you want which one you got this one Awesome! And then also, I know for a while you could not come. And then this one is also, there is a word of God. Great. You want to this one, right? I know, but later. <laughs> yeah. And let's listen to 
back to world from Reuben. Yeah. Sorry. Today's scripture readings are found in Matthew uh, chapters 18, verses 23 through 35, and then also Luke chapter 23, verses 32 through 34. This is the parable of the unforgiving servant. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began reckoning, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him, and he could not pay. His lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all their possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Please, please have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And so out of pity for him, the lord of the slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves, who owed him a hundred denarii. And, seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Please, please, have patience with me, and I will pay you. But he refused. And then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you, if you do not forgive your brother or sisters from your heart. Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing and they cast lots to divide his clothing. This is the word of God for the people of God. 